Hey everyone, I am back out on Camp Asabo Boardwalk. They are open on Saturday. And they actually encourage you to come out and enjoy this on this day. Now their store's not open. For those of you who, you know, don't know, the seventh day of the week, Saturday, is the Sabbath day. There are a lot of different opinions on that, of course. Technically, Saturday is the Sabbath day. It is the last day of the week. It's the day that God rested. And there's an ebb and flow of life. There's work, there's play, there's rest, there's, there's duty, there's relaxation. There's, there's a flow to life that's uh, very important. Or buy anything from the store, but who needs to do any of that stuff? You've got six other days in the week to do that. Take a day to enjoy this. Since I already made a video showing off the boardwalk and the beauty uh, that's surrounding that, this video is going to show some of the other trails that are around here. So if you take the boardwalk around, and then there's also a beaver pond loop, and that's what we're gonna take here, and I'll show you some of that uh, in this video. It's at the very end of the trail uh, where the suspension bridge is. So it's gonna be fun. I'm looking forward to checking it out. I've never been on it. Um, so it takes us around the other part of the lake and then back to the nature center. So check it out with me. I'm about to ruin their day. jump from there all the way to that branch holy crap this is cool there's deer tracks on this bridge <laughs> they cross it too wow yeah hoof prints all sorts of creatures crossing this bridge Maybe they come up here for the views. suspension bridge if you don't want to take the suspension bridge to the other side you can take this it looks like we're gonna be the first ones to go you can take the beaver pond trail I've never been on it well let's go check it out Unless there's other tracks, the trail's not necessarily marked. I mean, you can kind of obviously tell where it goes. So I'm gonna keep taking it, except I just saw this tree that's downed over here and it is massive. Look at the size of this tree. all sorts of things around here. Filled with snow. Oh. This must be... Oh, wow. See, they started damming up and slowing the water flow here. Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> All right, now that we checked out that spur to the beaver dam, let's go and uh, take the beaver pond trail. I was just following this animal trail here thinking, I'm not really sure where to go. And then there's a sign 
right there point me in the right direction so i guess whoever made this trail originally said where the heck should i go well i'm gonna go this way and this would be a good spot for a sign All right, I'm officially lost back here. The, the lake and whatever's on my right-hand side. I mean, I'm thinking this is the trail. Like I got turned around back there after those popes, those posts with the ropes around it. Like I'm assuming that they're preserving that stump for whatever reason. I'm sure, I'm just kind of taking natural paths around it and just having fun. I've never been out here before and there are no footprints. You're gonna have to make your own. And, Sometimes making your own is, uh, is quite the adventure. All right, so let's just take this natural path around and see what happens. <laughs> we found our way through. So apparently if we go this way, we can go to the spur of some hidden pond. So we were, I probably should have stuck close to the edge maybe of the beaver pond, but instead I got off course and went deep into there. But we're gonna go this way and check out this hidden pond. Snow is deep back here. I don't know if that's a mark to say I'm on the right path. I just found this bridge. Looks a little sus, but. All right, so I went over that bridge and came down to the woods and I'm in this swamp. It's a swamp fixture right there. I don't think I'm supposed to be in the swamp. I'm gonna head back, see what I missed. I made my way back to the spur to Hidden Pond because I just didn't feel right back there. I didn't think it was right. I didn't see much animal tracks after I went across that bridge. I went into the swamp. I went across it. It was pretty deep woods. I wasn't just feeling feeling it. I didn't think that was the way it was leading me farther away from this. So what was funny is on my way back, on my way back through here, I noticed this bridge when I was coming up this way, I saw the sign. I thought, okay, let's go this way. And I made mention, remember, and I said, I probably should have come through like along the shoreline here and I'd have been okay. And I'm pretty sure had I done that, I actually followed some deer tracks out of the deep woods that got me here. But had I had done that and followed this track here, I'm confident I would have saw the bridge. So I probably just would have went right this way. came up here and saw this bridge and went across. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. Okay, we got, I don't know, 30% battery left. Oh. Nope, just as I was recording this, it popped up, said I have 20% battery left. So I think we're gonna have to save the Eagle's Nest for another time, and we're gonna go ahead and finish this uh, Beaver Pond Trail and head out. kind of keeping the the lake or the beaver pond on my right I think can't see it anymore and just trying to follow the natural path where I think I would be going and there's some animal paths that make me think I'm in the right direction too so 
So I'm just gonna keep trekking on, try to save some battery for the last part of the journey here. And uh, this trail has been awesome. Look at these views. It's just gorgeous out here. I mean, this is untouched forest for the most part. It's a beautiful place. Come out and visit. If you haven't hiked it, do so. It's great out here. I'm on the other side of this beaver pond now. There's a stream going through here. I'm just gonna take this naturally around. All right, so I obviously made it back safe and sound. I just, um, I don't know what my phone caught towards the end. It was, I think it was just too cold out for it and it was low battery. That combination just made it kept shutting off on me. When my phone died, I kind of took it as you know what, I've been talking, I talked earlier in the video about rest and, and I thought, you know what, maybe this is just time for me just to not worry about making this video and filming and just enjoy um, where I was at, what I was doing, uh, the whole environment, just to be present and be mindful and be restful where I was. So I just took the rest of that time and went slow and watched some ducks and uh, saw some different wildlife on my way to the nature center and you know, just a fun place to come out and hike and enjoy and uh, thanks for watching and coming with me hope you had as much fun as i did